The ECO of Udu Kingdom, Double Chief Wilson Brume Ejeben, is a shining star of generosity. He has lived according to the biblical saying that many shall come to his rising. He is the founder of the Wilson Ejeben Foundation. Double Chief Ejeben was born at Egbokoda in Ondo State to Elijah parents of Udu local government area, Delta State. He was named after one of the greatest robo icons, Chief Wilson Showora Odibo, renowned for the construction of the famous Udo Bridge. I have perfect respect for him and the family, and I want to appeal to the children that they should continue their father's legacy. He's big. When I go to some occasion and I said, my name is Wixen Brume, you know, the late Brumer was a senator. Wixin Odibo was a great man. He is an, he, he, and I did, like when I made up my decision that we're going to renovate the Udo Bridge, and I remember the name Wixin Odibo, and a lot of people was like, ah, Wixin, Wix, the great Wixin Odibo, contribution in Udo Bridge still speaks loud. And another Wixin is coming again. He has started to add a lot of flavor to what the, 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 the great Odibo did. And me, I was like, I don't know. Maybe there is a connection, but I don't know. But all I'm doing, I'm doing the will of God. Secondly, I'm trying to reciprocate what those great men did in their own time. And this is my own time. I'll have to give back. He also visited the Eje Benz as their Ebokodo home the day the young Wilson was born. After his secondary school education, the young Brumer learned a trade of generator repairs. His parents, particularly his mother, and a benefactor at Ebokoda who donated a place for him to set up his workshop, built in him the spirit of giving back to the society. The driving force behind my philanthropy story, first of all, God Almighty. My parents, my mom will always tell me that part of the progression being a man is for you to give back to the society. We enjoy good atmosphere today. Some people fight for it. So we have to play our role. I'm giving back to the society is that the Bible. I'm giving back. I'm doing the will of God. The Bible says when you give to the poor, you are lending to God. So I'm doing the will of God. I'm not doing it for anybody to applaud me. I'm doing the will of God. That's how the driving force. I'm ready to do the will of God. I'm ready to do the work of God. Because there is a great compensation for my unborn children. So I'm doing the will of God. The Port Harcourt based business icon is using his foundation, Wilson Ejeben Foundation, WEF, for humanitarian assistance to less privileged communities, institutions, and religious organizations. He has periodically carried out maintenance work on the popular Udu Bridge. He also recently renovated the Obadaru Day Hall in Alaja community, which has been dilapidated since 1984. <laughs> He recently sponsored the surgery of a lady from Ewu, Nugali South local government area, suffering from a mouth tumor medically called amelioblastoma. 
the sister of the beneficiary of the free surgery of the mouth tumor and the lead surgeon prayed for more of the likes of Chief Ejeben in Nigeria. God bless her for us. It's a complication to my family. So God bless her. I'm going to make with her. See if we will know. Wow. It's a cry. It's a complication to my family. So I appreciate them. My family, I appreciate them. We thank you for our family. Well, we want to see more of his like in the community. We appreciate the kind gesture. And like at the time, for his kind of people, we appreciate him very much helping the patient. Because many patients are actually there suffering. If I go to the street of Yenagua, Many places in Lagos, and I didn't live in Portugal, but I think they're also there. They think about you people that view them as a money vector. They view them, view them to roam about the streets, begging for money. Tom, they will put them on the chair. They take pictures of them and hold them in the hold up, looking for money. When they make money, they don't give this patient. But what they will make, it's not even enough for the patient quite right. At the end of the day, everybody has gone to office to work. They share the money, not for the patient. So if you can get more of this kind of children are coming to help, on a regular basis, I think we will bring this uh, scourge of amyloblastoma to a halt. Yearly, Chief Ejeben distributes food, items and clothes to the aged in his hometown of Alaja and birthplace of Egbokoda. Chief Ejeben had, through his foundation, constructed the Egbokoda roundabout with a bust of a fisherman and his catch, a proud symbol of the Elijah people. Though a devout Christian, Double Chief Ejeben has renovated a mosque in Port Harcourt River State, a gesture that made a 75 years old man give his life to Christ. The Wills in Ejeben Foundation in 2021 furnished and equipped a library at the University of Benin, Edo State. Yearly, Chief Ejeben donates school materials and uniforms to pupils and students in Delta and Ondo states. He had always emphasized that his philanthropic work is not for publicity, neither political gains, but desires to create a better society. If you want a better society, you love your neighbor. Treat everybody equal. If you want a better society as in Nigeria, we must to respect the conventional law of the land. We must to respect the constitution of this country. The constitution cannot be manipulated. If the constitution says this belongs to the poor people, let's give it to them. If the constitution says this belongs to the rich people, let's give it to them. And let's treat each other equal. Don't judge anybody by their religion or their tribe, no. Don't judge people by their color, but judge them by the word of God that says, love your neighbor as yourself. Positive judge. The chairman of the Wilson Ejebian Foundation said his NGO is ready to join forces with well meaning Nigerians to raise the standard of living and development in the country. We have to form a partnership in doing positive things, not the negative things that will share us apart. I'm calling on every good citizen of Nigeria who love himself and love the people. You can't love yourself and you say you don't love the people. That is a very bad message. If you love yourself, you have to love the people. Because the Bible says, love your neighbor as yourself. So we need to come together and make this world a better place. If we don't do it, it will hurt us, it will hurt our children. That's why you see people flying around with security. But if we made the world a better place today, you don't need a security to move from here to Portaikot. It's a challenge and we have to overcome it. In recognition of his philanthropic gesture, the Ovi of Udu Kingdom, Oworo the First, honored him with a chieftaincy title, Isio Menen, the Star of the Kingdom. Also, Chief Wilson Ejeben was honored as the Bobaselu of Ubo Kingdom. The chieftaincy title was given to him by His Imperial Majesty Oba Frederick Akiruntan, the Olubo of Ubo Kingdom of Elijah local government area of Ondo State. On June 12, 2022, the people of Obado de Quarters his maternal kinsmen held a grand reception to appreciate Chief Wilson Ejeben for his philanthropic work. Various speakers at the ceremony poured econiums on Double Chief Ejeben for his act of kindness. A man that sees beyond, I don't want to talk about Udu, um, Udu uh, Bridge, somebody that came up, used his own money. I was thinking, ah, Chief, you want to contest? 
Are you having a mind of to contest for as assembly or as of rep? He said no. This is a good bridge. And when I was very young, she let she wishing on me. The developer of that because the guy that completed that good bridge. He said then he was very small. And that day they gave his name because of the wishing of the they gave his own name. We see. So since then he has been desired to develop this good bridge. Whenever this grand rate will do bridge collapse. It will come, not one million, not two million, not three million. He will do it from back to back. And since he stopped doing it now, that maintenance, he is still there. There's nobody to call. If you, if you want to ask of anybody, call Wisin, Chief Wisin, AGB. You will think of a developer. You must, your mindset will go back to that. This man, I've been want to want him again. I don't know if you're getting me. So, it's a, if I want to describe a man, well, he's a destiny changer. He's a man that loves and desires the good things of the people of his own society. Okay, look at on those states. If you can look at this video, you will, see, you will see things yourself. He come to do, and a counselor representing the people of India. Further, I want to serve the second level. He doesn't have to do anything with me. I don't have to feed him or to make him to be better. At least today, I was being invited again to this place. I saw him again. We see the Japan. After finishing the town hall, they want to commission it. They are begging him to say, come, please, let's go to that is, that is the kind of human being we are looking for in this society. They are very rare. You cannot get them. They are very rare. So that was my old chief, Chief Wilson Jebel. The issue of the kingdom, the barbarity of the kingdom. I thank you because I am very proud of you. I'm not just saying it because we are here. I said it before I am going to say it. I'm proud of you. I like that. I'm proud of you. The Bible is proud of you. I've done well for yourself. You have done well for the community. You have promoted and like that community. Your foundation, the Wisse, the Wisse Jebel Foundation has done much. It gives us great pleasure to welcome you all to this all important occasions slash ceremony, which is the official opening of the Obadi of the Horse slash the hosting of Chief Wisse, Brume Ejebel. It's worthy of note that the Obadi of the All, by historical findings, was started in the year 1984. But due to inadequate, inadequate finance, various administration in the quarter, we are not able to complete it, though there is a slight improvement made on it. Surprisingly, in the early part of this year, 2022, the indigenous of the quarters of Alaja watched with great joy as they all wore a new and modern look. On a very close and further investigation, it was revealed that this great deed was done by an, an illustrious son of Obadu the Quarters and Alaja community, a humanitarian by nature and a philanthropist, the person of Chief Wisin Brume, a German. Apart from coming to our rescue and giving the Obadu the all a new and modern look, Chief Wisin Brume, a German, has provi previously pro provided the water and the tank we see close to the all. Everything, and all this for all that country, all that country, all that people, all that streets, they would do. That man, when they do so, when they call Jembe, Chief Jembe, is one of the great, great person. I'm very happy when I see a person in this, in this, uh, uh, Badoti. Because I think that this hall is not him. This hall for number two. Other persons who spoke described Chief Ejebe as an uncommon Nigeria who uses his wealth for the betterment of the society. It's not really easy. We have so many, so many of us in this community. No, that we don't want to do this type of a thing. But I know it's ministry. It's ministry to touch his name, touch his balance, to God be the glory for you. He has come to say, no, let me try this uh, tambour. I'll be hearing the battle. I have to cut appointment because of what I had. And I appreciate him. For somebody that is so good, should be appreciated. And I want to thank even his own people too, who appreciated him. Because some people will not appreciate what I do. When you do something and your place, people are get, getting praises, or being encouraged, you discouraged by the words that will come from people. So when I come here, I'm so delighted. 
I'm, I'm pleased. Not about himself alone, but the reception given to him. Um, Chief Wilson Ejeben is uh, a man of valor, a man that has a kind heart. He's a philanthropist. A man that actually puts the people first before himself. He's just a blessing to mankind. Let me just describe him that way. There is a biblical saying that he who gives to the poor lends to God. And this is what Chief Wilson Brume Ejeben is doing today. To make it but I did by the grace of God, by the support of my mom. Growing up was like hell in the cell. The difference between me and Moses and the Bible is gray hair. I know what I'm talking about. I know what I passed through as a young man. But that's why you see me anywhere I go, I give all the glory to God. That is a privilege for me to stand before you today. I speak. Growing up is not something I really want to dig deep into. If I dig in dig deep into my growing up sometime, it will make me to become too conservative to give to the people. But I want to leave that behind and give all the glory to God and give all the glory to the people that God made available to make me who I am today. I don't do it myself. Not having enough resources to do what I want to do for the people. I want to lift a lot of people from the streets. I want to give their house. I want to, I want to put a smile on their face. But there's not enough resources for me to put a smile on their face. So that is one of the greatest challenges. And I'm praying every day that... God, give me that breakthrough that will make me to put a smile in the face of other people because I cannot have too much food in my house and I have my neighbor in my, I have my neighbor in the next house who don't even have anything to put in his own stomach.